Hello everyone, today we're going to dive into the fascinating world of Auto Transformer Starter. This device play a crucial role in the smooth operation of large motors, and we'll explore why it is necessary and how it works. So, let's get started. Before starting with the construction and working of Auto Transformer Starter, let's quickly understand its necessity. Three-phase induction motor is similar in action to a polyphase transformer with short-circuited secondary. Therefore, when a rated voltage is applied to the stationary motor, it will draw a large current which is about 5 to 7 times the full load current and will develop about 1.5 to 2 times full load torque. This heavy inrush current of short duration may not cause harm to the motor since construction of the induction motor is rugged. Also time duration of this heavy current is not that long as to cause excessive temperature rise which may damage the insulation of windings. But, this heavy inrush current will cause a large voltage drop in the line to which the motor is connected. So other equipment connected to the line may receive a reduced voltage that affects their working. To mitigate these issues, auto transformer starter is employed. This starter is designed to reduce the voltage applied to the motor during startup limiting the current surge and minimizing potential damage. Let me explain how they achieve this through its working. Schematic diagram of auto transformer starter is shown on the screen. It consists of three phase supply connected on the primary side of auto transformer starter with different sets of tappings. The secondary side of auto transformer starter is connected to stator of the three phase induction motor. A double throw switch S is used to connect the auto transformer in the circuit for starting. The auto transformer starter places the motor on the secondary of the auto transformer while starting. The taps on the auto transformer limit the voltage applied to the motor to 50%, 65% or 80% of the nominal voltage. The difference between line and motor current is due to the transformer in the circuit. It is provided with a number of tappings. The starter is connected to one particular tapping to obtain the most suitable starting voltage. When the handle H of the switch is in the start position, the primary of the auto transformer is connected to the supply line, and the motor is connected to the secondary of the auto transformer. Initially, the auto transformer starter connects the motor to the auto transformer's secondary tapping point, which provides a reduced voltage. This reduces the initial current surge and helps the motor start smoothly. As the motor gains speed and stability, the auto transformer starter gradually switches the connection to the primary tapping point, providing a higher voltage for the motor's continuous operation. When the motor picks up the speed of about 80% of its rated value, the handle H is quickly moved to the run position. Thus, the auto transformer is disconnected from the circuit, and the motor is directly connected to the line and achieve its full rated voltage. The handle is held in the run position by the under voltage relay. If the supply voltage fails or falls below a certain value, the handle is released and returns to the off position. Additionally, thermal overload relays are provided for the overload protection. I hope you found this explanation helpful in understanding the necessity, construction, and working of Auto Transformer Starter. That's it for today's session. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for receiving more updates. Stay tuned and keep exploring.